In these next few tutorials, I will take you through the ease of creating Lyric scenes using the new creation tools in Lyric Pro version 8. In this first tutorial, let's create a simple upper left live super using the 3D primitives that are standard in Lyric Pro. Okay, let's get started by adding a 3D pod for the shape. Then by easily changing the size and altering the X and Y scale, the pod begins to take shape. Alter the Y scale to make it thinner, and then adjust the X scale to make it wider. In the plugin properties for 3D primitives, alter the skew a little bit to give the bar a slant to the right. Now in surface properties, I'm going to add a texture to the face of the object. From the browser, you can simply drag and drop a texture onto the surface. Adjust the scale if needed so it completely covers the surface. This texture was designed using the grayscale, so now it is easy to adjust it to any color using the color palette. If it's a live super, it has to be a deep red color, doesn't it? To get the deep red color, let's adjust the specular color to be darker. There, now to finish this off, I want a linear transparent shade to the red bar so it fades off to the left. In Lyric, I can add multiple textures to the surface of the same 3D object. So simply changing to Texture 2 and then dropping a linear shaded texture with Alpha on as the second texture, I can easily get the desired look. Let's move the bar into place in the upper left. Now type the word Live. If the text is not white, just highlight the word and select white from the color palette. Okay, so let's move the text in place over the red bar. Notice that the text is behind the red bar. The reason for this is when we are now dealing with 3D objects, there is depth to them, and the text might have to be raised in the Z space, or the bar moved back. For those not familiar with 3D, it is a little different than just dealing with 2D images. Simply adjusting the Z position of the red bar pushes it behind the text. Now adjust the size of the text and move it to the correct position over the red bar. It is always good practice to name everything in the scene graph, so when there are many objects, it is easy to see which one you are adjusting. Name the object so it will be easy to tell at a glance what you are moving. In this case, let's change the pod to red bar and the text to live. If you are planning on animating the red bar and text, grouping them together to make one element to animate is easy with Lyric's grouping tool. To group objects, hold the control button down while you click on the elements in the scene graph. Then click the group tool. Now rename the object to red group. In addition to the red bar and live, I want to add a breaking news bar and text as well. It might end up looking a little different than the red bar group, but because all of this was made once, it is very easy to copy and paste them to make a second bar and text. Once it is copied, Let's go in and change the name of the group to White Group. And finally, open up the group and rename the white bar and text. While I have the group open, let's adjust the position and size of the new bar and then color it white using the palette and specular color. The white bar is supposed to be behind the red bar, so as we did before, let's adjust the Z position of the white bar until it goes behind the red bar. The text will say breaking news and I want the color to be black. Let's make it a little smaller and position it correctly. So as before, select the text in the text window, resize it and change the color using the palette. Depending on how thin you make the white bar, you might have to go back into the plugin properties and adjust the skew if you want it to match the angle of the red bar. Finally, rename the 3D template text to breaking news. Now this message has a light colored background and it looks okay but if you change the canvas to black the black text will be lost. So simply going back to the surface properties let's delete the second texture from the white bar. Now remember we might want to animate this live super later on so uh, to finalize this message I'm assuming the breaking news text and bar will animate out from underneath the live red bar but since the red bar has a linear soft shade to it, you would see the white bar when it animates out. I have an image in the browser that I can use as a mask. 
It is a simple object that has a black alpha channel. The resulting image is actually not seen at all when brought into Lyric. But putting it in place and adjusting the scale of it, I can use it as a mask object. Right click on the object and select mask and it will actually mask everything in the scene. Now that is not quite the desired look. I only want to mask certain objects, so we can get around that by assigning the mask to mask layers. This is easy to do. With the mask selected in the scene graph, right click and assign to layer 1. Now select the objects in the scene graph that you want masked and assign those to layer 1 as well. Now when I move the breaking news text group left and right, they will be erased by the mask. One last thing to adjust and that is pushing the breaking news text behind the red bar. Now as you can see, when I animate the group, it will not be seen through the transparent red bar. I'll record this scene to number one and we are finished. In part two, we will animate the upper left live and breaking news.